Newlon's history started in, in the late 70s, early 80s through a, a process of my, in those early days where my father got uh, control of the brand name Newlon and, and stock. It owed him money, so he, he decided he wasn't just going to ignore the opportunity and he continued to pursue uh, the opportunity by building distributors around the country. And those distributors are, uh, were a very important part of the, the initial growth of the business. Uh, they got the brand out there, developed a, a network of resellers all around the country. The vision that Dad had really at the time is that it, it, it was an innovative product. It was, uh, it was really just a core group of additives uh, that uh, had this unique attribute about them it was, and it was Teflon and Teflon is a brilliant lubricant in itself and these additives were uh, proven to be very effective in reducing friction within an engine and he went about developing uh, a, a distribution network for those products around Australia and one thing that we did very early on in the piece, well my father and, and some, some of the people in his network at that time developed a, um, a concept where we were going to drive a car from Sydney to Melbourne without any oil in a sump. And the, uh, this Commodore, as it was back then, it was uh, drained of all its, of its lubricants in, on the forecourt of the Sydney Opera House. They set off from Sydney to Melbourne and, and got all the way to Melbourne without a drop of oil in the sump. And it was, a, it was like an event that put Newlon on the map in the auto uh, automotive market here in Australia. And it was, uh, it, was, it was a terrific thing. It got a lot of national press on the TV and the news at night and all that sort of stuff. So it was, it was a great little event that put Newlon on the map in Australia. We went from no one in an industry to the leading product within around about 22 years. And since that period of time, um, we've gone into other areas of the industry with new products, new technology, and within a very short, rapid period of time, have become the number one or a major player within a very short period of time. When Dad first started with the business, there was like half a dozen additives, little cans, and uh, some of those products are still very much part of our portfolio, but they're very much the minority today. We, we have a, an extensive range of, of lubricants motor oils, gear oils, transmission oils, uh, synthetic mineral, and as well as a, a, a large range of coolants, aerosol products, fuel treatments that are, are widely used in the Australian marketplace. And, and the brand is a very, very strong retail brand today. We, we, in some of those categories, in the fuel treatments, additives, coolants, we could be seen to be the number one brand in, in automotive retail outlets around the country. And our intent as a business is to be Australia's best lubricants company. And, and that intent drives a lot of our thinking, a lot of our product development and, and how we present ourselves in the marketplace. Newline Products uh, was a distributor of its own brand for, for 27 of near 30 years now. And, and that never saw us manufacturing any product. We outsourced all the manufacturing of, of our brand. And that used to be a bit of a restraint on our growth. Uh, we made the decision back in 2005-06 to become a manufacturer. And our, our, our reasoning behind that was mainly to be able to control our own destiny more effectively in that we had a, a supply chain that, that didn't necessarily want to run as hard as we did. And if we wanted to accelerate the growth of business and really pursue the opportunities that we thought and, and know that are out there, we had to become the manufacturer ourselves. So we then went about sourcing land, finding land. We, we, we found the, 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 a nice big flat block of land out in southwestern Sydney. Uh, we then uh, contracted to engineers, architects, et cetera, to help build what at the end of the day is a state-of-the-art lubrication blending plant. And, and I dare say the newest in Australia. And it's been a, um, a progression or a, a step in the business's evolution that's been really good and, and given us and will continue to give us great opportunities going forward. When, when we had uh, our operation back on the Northern Beaches, we had about 20 staff at that time and or 20 team members. And we had a, um, a, a distribution, a marketing and distribution company. When we became a manufacturer, we increased our staff by a factor of three. And now there's, there's, there's 60 plus people in the operation. 
and growing every every week, every month. You know, that new person started just the other day. There is, so we're interviewing today for more people. Uh, it, it, it's been a challenge in the sense that that growth in the number of people in the organisation, but at the same time, it's that the culture and the business and the values of the business that really help us in, in our recruitment of good people and also the people and the team members that have been there for a long time uh, really understand where the business is at, the culture, the values, and they hold on to that and they express that to, to new people who start in the business. So there's a, a really strong um, team ethic here, really collaborative style of business and something that's proven very effective for us. It gets back down to people just, you know, we all just want to feel attached and, and wanted and um, that's what family business is about. It's that attachment to something that's good. It's an attachment to something that you know that you're respected. You know that what you're contributing towards is, 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 is something worthwhile. It's not just you do this and then it moves on to over here and you know, you're just a part of the process. You know, family businesses are all about en encompassing a culture, about you know, having respect and making f people feel that you know, they're a needed part of the process. Our staff, for instance, really feel part of this business. They, they like coming to work, they, we respect them when they're at work and uh, they go home feeling like they've contributed towards something. New, New Line's always been a family business. It, it still is owned solely by the Simons family. It has its challenges as a family business. It has its uniqueness as a family business. Uh, and it's, it's been a, a great thing for, for the family as a whole, I'd suggest. Well, Greg and I, obviously, we grew up together as brothers, so, and we've always had a lot of respect for each other. Greg has some great analytical skills and great financial skills which he brings to the business um, through his, um, you know, his CPA. And uh, I have the marketing and sales background of the business. So between the two of us, we have really good strengths in his area and really good strengths in my area. And we both respect each other's strengths. He doesn't want to do what I do and I wouldn't want to do what he does. So from that angle, um, we, we bounce off each other very well. Um, and it's also that other aspect of, you know, sometimes as a family member, you actually can say how it is. We actually just put it on the table about how we're feeling and how that's happening. And, and, and there's that very good respect about that. A great network for, for any family business, uh, in my opinion, is, is Family Business Australia. It's a, it's a national network. It has a wide membership, a really strong membership that uh, really allows family businesses to hear network and engage with people who are up against similar challenges to, to what you may be as a family business. I think uh, Family Business Australia has provided a great vehicle of fast streaming your experience and your knowledge um, because I'm in a forum group and the forum groups are like-minded people that are in the, um, family businesses that are trying to grow their business or trying to maintain their businesses at a certain level. Definitely being involved with Family Business Australia has been hugely beneficial to our business, but it's also been hugely beneficial to Greg and myself because it's provided us with an outlet in which we actually can seek information and, and get it quickly into the business as opposed to where do we go for this information. It's been a, a brilliant network for John and I to, to engage with, to, uh, to understand the challenges of a family business, to be able to, to find advice within that network that can help with the things that are presented from time to time. The big, big thing that we've got out of our association with Family Business Australia is what's known as forum groups and forum groups are uh, a a group of people that come together every month, it's a facilitated meeting, you have 10 meetings during the course of the year and you're there with other business owners, family business owners and you are having conversations about the challenges of being a family business and of being a business for that matter and it's, it's, it's really a really good place to be and a really good network.